Welcome to Sessions at the Princess. Today we'll be talking with local rock group Through the Eye about how they got their inspiration for their rock and roll music. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Sessions at the Princess. I'm your host, Daniel Majé, and today we're here with the band Through the Eye. We have Ben, Dylan, and Josh. So let's ask you guys a couple of questions. Uh, ben, we'll start with you. Um, what got you into music? Well, I've been around it since I was a baby. Pretty much my dad brought me up on it, and I was always around him playing with his bands, and then he let me take home a guitar, and I just started teaching myself ever since then. Just been in love with it. All right. Um, what about instruments? Uh, what instruments do you play? Uh, I can play the acoustic guitar, the electric guitar, the bass guitar, uh, a little bit of keyboard, the drums, and you know, trumpet, baritone, or tuba. All right. Um, what about inspiration? Are there any bands or specific artists that you look up to? Um, I definitely look up to Aerosmith a lot, Joe Perry, and then of course Jimi Hendrix. Just his style is just nobody's been able to replicate it. All right. Uh, Dylan, we'll go to you. What about you? Uh, how old were you when you started getting into music? Well, I've really been into music my whole life, but I joined the band when I was in sixth grade, and that's when I started playing the saxophone. Uh, I picked up my first guitar about when I was 15, and my dad got me my first electric when I was 16, and been playing that ever since. Started playing the drums about two years ago, though. So. All right. Um, what about you? Uh, any, any inspiration? Um, any specific artists, bands you look up to? Like you said, Aerosmith, like Steven Tyler, kind of look up to him, and a lot of classic rock bands. Who doesn't look up to Steven Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh, uh, we'll cut to you. Uh, what about you? What? How old were you when you started getting into music? Well, I've been around like them my whole life. My mom pretty much, she raised me up on a lot of classic rock, like Bob Seger, Eddie Money, stuff like that. So I've been around it my whole life. All right. Um, are there any specific artists that you look up to or bands? Uh, I'd say from now it'd probably be Avenged Sevenfold. They're my biggest inspiration with what got me going with the guitar. And I'd say Muse as well because their bass lines, their lyrics, he's, they're just, I don't even know the words to describe them. All right. Uh, Dylan, we'll cut back to you. Tell us a little bit about your band. Uh, how did you guys meet? Well, uh, I had a band about three years ago. They were called Black Friday. And... I'd lost my lead guitarist, and it was about two weeks until our 4th of July gig, and I knew Ben played guitar, and he just lived up the road with me, so I kind of called him up and asked him if he wanted to play just that one gig, and he said, yeah, and we've been together ever since. All right. Um, how did you guys get your name? Uh, the Through the Eye came from a song that Ben wrote. Maybe he can tell you a little bit more about that, though. We pretty much took it just because we couldn't decide on a band name. They just kept throwing them out there, and none of us would really agree on a name, and I just kind of threw that out there. A song I wrote that just kind of explains that life is pretty much how you see it and that it's it's all your own perception. That's awesome. Um, where do you guys practice? Obviously, you guys have to practice to, to keep up with your music. Where do you uh, guys practice? We practice down in Dylan's music shed that used to be his dad's tool shed. We kicked him out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> do your parents uh, or the neighbors ever complain about the music? Do they like the music? Um. We've had the neighbor across the street threaten to call the cops several times. She she did once. Yeah. But your parents are okay with it? My parents are pretty cool with it. They like that I'm in music and stuff, so I'm not out trashing people's yards, you know, doing bad stuff. Just playing music. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a short break, but when we come back, we'll have a few more questions for Through the Eye. Stay tuned. You're here on Sessions at the Princess. Welcome back to Sessions at the Princess. We're still here with Through the Eye. We have a few more questions. All right, um, Dylan, we'll cut back to you. Um, well, actually, we'll start with Josh. You're the new guy in the band. Uh, how was the transition? Actually, the transition wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be because earlier, way earlier on when we were, I was getting music, starting to play guitar, me and Ben actually had a few bands that they never really picked up. Of course, we just worked on a few covers. So I've had a little chemistry with him. I've played with Dylan a few times, but not very, very much. But whenever they brought me in, we pretty much clicked right away. All right. Um, you said you have a unique playing style. You said they play a little bit different tune than you did uh, yeah. when you first came in. Yeah, back um, with my other band, my other band was Scarred Armada, but it's pretty much dead now. 
they played in a lower tuning than I had ever even thought about playing in before. And I actually, I think I like it a lot better because you can mess around with it a little more. It sounds, I don't know the word, heavier. It sounds better, pretty much. All right. I mean, Dylan, we'll jump back to you. Um, how do you guys write your songs? Do you write the songs or? Well, me and Ben both kind of write the songs. Josh hasn't yet, but maybe he will. But uh, usually when I start to write the song, I'll kind of come up with lyrics in my head, maybe while I'm driving down the road. Then when I get home, kind of start writing the lyrics. And then the music will come after that, usually. Um, I also understand you're not normally the drummer. Can you explain that to us also? Yeah, our drummer's kind of on a break right now. He's going to school up at Tennessee Tech, and I'm just kind of taking his place till he comes back during the summer. So, All right. Um, where does the inspiration for your music come from? How do you, how do you find the lyrics? Well, a lot of them are kind of past relationship, emotional, stuff like that. Sometimes... Just in a good mood, kind of pump you up kind of song maybe, but I don't know. They just kind of come to me when I'm just doing stuff. So, <laughs> uh, Ben, we'll jump to you. What is it like when you play live on stage? What What is the feeling you get? Can you describe that? Uh, when you first step up on stage, of course, you got your nerves going a little bit. You might be nervous about how you look or how you're going to sound, how they're going to, how the crowd's going to take you. But once you start playing and you hear your music and you, you feel what you wrote, then it just, it all goes away and you just, you live in the moment. What's your favorite song from your band? Uh, it'd have to be Brain Sick. It's, um, it's a song that we actually wrote together. It wasn't that he, I wrote this or he wrote that, and then we kind of worked on it together. We just worked on it together, and it still changes every day, and it's actually changed since we've had our rehearsal. All right. Speaking of rehearsal, uh, we heard a couple of your solos. How do you come up with ma- materials for your solo? Uh, I, a lot of it's just improvisation. It just kind of comes out. All right. So you don't write any of it beforehand? You just play um, and whatever feels right? When I do sit down and write it, I'll rec- record a rhythm track, like a backing track, and I'll sit down and just improv over it and see what sounds cool, and then I'll you know, start to get into the nitty-gritty and start writing it. To get now, would solid. you say that your songs are ballads? We don't, I wouldn't say we have any ballads as of right now. We will, we've thought about writing one, but right now we just want more upbeat songs. Uh, Dylan, we'll jump to you. Where have you guys performed at, and what was your biggest crowd? Usually our biggest crowd is uh, the 4th of July in Kingston. We love to go to that every year. It's usually has, I don't know, 200 people usually just walking around the park, but usually they'll come by and we'll have a pretty big crowd sitting there. And, uh, we also play um, birthday parties. And we've had a battle of the bands last year, came in third place. But <laughs> what about recording? Have you guys recorded any music? Yeah, we recorded um, our first time in Oak Ridge at this. It was a bluegrass studio, and uh, he just wasn't what we were looking for. It wasn't the right sound. Um, but the last what month was it? It was like November. We recorded uh, with a student that goes around states. His name's Chris Cagle, and uh, uh, we recorded our first demo CD. So, All right. Now, we know what the people at home are thinking. Where can we find your music? Uh, you can go on our Facebook page and listen to it, or you can just contact one of us and just get a free CD. So, All right. Um, any last words for people, Josh, who may want to start their own band or may want to be in a band or play music? Do you have any tips or advice? One thing I'd say is never give up. Don't let anyone put you down because if you want to do it, you can do it. You just got to either teach yourself, go get lessons, but it's never too late to start and just do what you love. All right. Uh, Dylan, do you have anything to add to that? Um, definitely practice, practice, practice because once you get up on that stage, it's a totally different scene and yeah, we've messed up a few times, so we know. Uh, that comes with the territory. All right, Ben, do you have any last words to add to that? Uh, yeah, just what he said. It's never too late to start, and never think anything physical about yourself would be incapable of playing a musical instrument. All right. We're going to take another short break, but when we come back, Through the Eye will perform a couple of their hit songs for us right here on Sessions at the Princess. I 
I'm drowning in the sinking sand I'm dying in my own wasteland So broken I can't barely stand Condemned to carry the shadow of a broken man Well I don't need a second chance Well I don't need another try Well sometimes we all just gotta say goodbye Can
Well, that just means you're the biggest witch around. to be a nice guy, but I heard they come in last. I try to make you happy, but now you're just a thing of the past. You are so cold that you made me sick. I'm not trying to be addicted, but you, you drive me crazy, and you, Drive me up the wall You, you think you wear the crown Well that just means you're the biggest witch around Nothing to get. The 
one you knew I will break through I'm falling apart I cannot go on